Some people say this movement for the transfer of our public lands is just about selling them off to rich fat cats or that we can't afford to manage our own lands. The funny thing is the only people making these arguments are the ones who want to continue to increase federal control over our lands. This is about a failed federal lands policy that is killing Western communities, draining money right out of our kids' education, closing off recreation and grazing access, burning up Western forests, and locking up trillions of dollars in abundant natural resources in Western communities. Don't our children deserve the same opportunities to fund education, grow their economies as children east of Colorado do? This is about the only solution big enough to actually solve these problems, not lobby or litigate for greater federal control over our lands. Have you ever seen this map before? Most people ask, why the difference? Well, that's a great question, because from the founding of our nation until 1976, Congress knew that it was obligated to transfer title to these public lands at statehood. In fact, in the statehood agreement, called an enabling act of every state, Congress reaffirmed the promise to transfer title to the public lands. So if the promise to transfer title to the public lands is the same, why the difference? In 1976, Congress came up with a policy to simply keep all these lands in federal ownership. Now there's a lot of problems with this policy, including the fact that the Supreme Court recently said unanimously that Congress doesn't have the authority to simply change the promises at statehood, particularly where virtually all of a state's public lands are at stake. When Congress changed its lands policy, it promised to pay Western communities for not utilizing their lands and forests and other resources to fund education and roads and other public services. Did you know that with so much land under federal control, some communities have less than 10% taxable land? Well, guess what? The federal government is broke here, and now it's reneging on these promises to Western communities to pay them for not utilizing their lands. It's shutting off even more access for recreation and grazing, locking up literally trillions of dollars in abundant natural resources in the West. Federal forest policies prevent harvesting any trees, even when they've been killed by beetle devastation. This is causing raging wildfires, polluting the air, killing millions of animals, and devastating watershed for decades. Once Congress keeps its promise, federal public lands become state public lands, protecting access for recreation and hunting and fishing and grazing and opening up access to our abundant natural resources to create jobs, fund education, and grow local, state, and national economies. Making Congress keep its obligation to transfer our public lands just like it already did with Hawaii and all states east of Colorado, really is the only solution big enough. Today some billionaire is going to write a million dollar check to some extremist organization to keep you from accessing and using your western lands. Today those same extremist organizations are going to file lawsuit after lawsuit and then settle, creating new policy that shuts down your access and use to your western lands. Today some federal bureaucrat or agency is going to unroll a new policy that shuts off your access and use to your western lands. What are you going to do today?